Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at upgrading my Ubuntu 18 operating system to the newest version, Ubuntu 20. So if we come over here and we take a look at what we're currently using, so if we go to About This Computer, you'll see that we're on 18.04, which is a long-term support release. Now, Ubuntu 20.04 was released about two and a half weeks ago, so if we go over to the website, you can see that it was released on April 23rd. And the instructions right here on the Ubuntu website will tell you how to go and upgrade your system. So if we scroll down here, you see that there's some preparation steps. So you see here that once Ubuntu 20.04.1 is released, that's when you'll start seeing notices in your update manager. So you'll see this GUI prompt to upgrade your system. This usually happens about three months after the initial release. So we're still within the time frame where we won't be seeing this. So we can actually go through and update using our terminal if we want to get the release sooner. Now, before we do that, we actually want to come down here and we want to back up our system just in case the installation process doesn't go well. Ubuntu 18 comes with a default backup manager, and so we can use that to get started. Now, if you search for this, you can go to your launcher and look for backups, and you'll see this manager here, and it opens up an application called the Deja Dupe Backup Tool. Now, if you don't have this installed, you can actually install this manually. It should come with your system, but if for whatever reason you don't have it, you can just sudo app get installed Deja Dupe just like this. Let's go back to our application. So you see in our settings, we don't have any recent backups and we have no backup scheduled. There's some other settings in here. So folders that we're saving our home directory, but we're ignoring our trash and our downloads. That sounds good. And then our storage location here is currently set to Google. You can select different locations here like Nextcloud or local folders. Now, what we want to do here is we want to plug in an external hard drive. So I have one right here. I'm going to plug that in. Bear with me one second while I do that. So I just plugged that hard drive in. And then that appears over here on the left-hand side of my dock. And then if I select this, you can see that we have a hard drive with some backups already in there. So let's go back to our Deja Dupe settings here. And now we can select the Gym Comp backup. That's the external drive we just plugged in. So I'll select that. And we don't need to schedule anything. We're just going to do a manual backup right now. So let's go back to our overview here. And let's select Backup Now. And it says we need to install some additional packages in order to run this backup. So let's install Duplicity. Let's go to Install and then just add your password here. And then we can encrypt our backup if we want. So I could put a password here, for instance, and then confirm. And then this way, if you ever want to access your backup, you'd have to use your password. So I'll say yes. Okay, so now we got to notice that our backup is complete. I can say okay. And if we come back over here to our drive, you'll see that we have this new folder here. So this is the Jimmy Fisk Satellite L870. So this is the computer that we just backed up. You can see we have all these encrypted files in here. So it looks pretty good. So now I can eject my external hard disk here. I'm going to unmount it. And then I'll just come over here and I'll right click on the icon and I'll say safely remove. And now I can unplug my external hard drive. Okay. We can close out a Deja Dupe. And let's go back to our installation instructions. If I scroll down on this page. So we're going to want to use this do release upgrade command here. And you can see all the options available here. And then if you want to use the GUI tool instead of using completely command line tools, you can pass these options here and that will pop up a GUI interface. So let's copy this command and then I'm just going to open up my terminal here. So I'm going to type terminal, open up that application, and then I'll bump up the size here so you can see it. And then I'll paste that command and I run this. You'll see that we have pending updates that need to run before we can actually install the new release. So let's do a sudo apt get update to update our package manager. And then let's do a sudo apt get upgrade. And we'll say yes to install these additional packages. Okay, once that's set, let's actually also just come in here and run a sudo apt get dist hyphen upgrade. Press enter. And again, say Y for yes. And once that's complete, let's clear our back scroll. And then we'll press up a couple of different times until we get back to that initial command there. And let's just run that. 
So now it's saying that we actually have to reboot to get the updated packages that we just installed. So let's restart our computer and then we'll come back here and we'll run this command one more time in order to run the update process. So I'll see you in a second. Come down here and do restart. Okay, so we're back here after the restart and let's go and run that command one more time. So let's open up our terminal again and let's full screen this and bump up the size and let's paste that command. Okay, and run that one more time. Enter your password. Okay, so now we see this prompt here, welcome us to the new version of Ubuntu, the Focal Fossa, and it says that this is a development release. So let's come down here and you can read through this information if you want, but let's press upgrade here in the bottom right. So it's fetching some information, it's installing snaps. We'll close out of this. So we'll start the upgrade in the bottom right here. Click that. It says our lock screen will be disabled until we reboot. We can close out of that notice. And then you'll get a pop-up that prompts you to restart your computer. So we'll click restart now and that will complete the installation process. So now we're over here on our Ubuntu 20.04 desktop. If you come up here and you check about this computer, you can verify that that's actually the version that you're running. And what's really cool is we actually still have our Unity desktop installed. You can tell by the launcher over here on the left-hand side. Hopefully your installation process went as smoothly as ours did. If you had any trouble, just leave us a comment below and we'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're interested in more Ubuntu videos, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications about videos we post in the future. All right, thanks for watching and take care.